the burning of fossil fuels has increased the amount of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere, and this has actually caused an influx of carbon dioxide into the ocean, which has lowered the amount of uh, CO2 in the atmosphere, but it has a consequence of changing the carbonate chemistry of the ocean. And so a lot of the work we've done is actually trying to understand exactly why oyster larvae appear to be so sensitive. And they, we know that they're very sensitive to ocean acidification. And so we've been actually studying the sort of very fundamental mechanisms of calcification that we've actually found that oyster larvae, they're not actually dissolving. What we see is developmental issues. And so in this figure, you can see um, in larvae that were grown under good conditions versus acidified conditions. And what you actually, what we find is that the, under the acidified conditions, you see these deformities in the shell, prevents the larvae from developing normally. And we now know we can tie that together with basically the energetics of the organism and that it takes much more energy to make shell at this early stage when they have very little energy. And the, the bottleneck really is they have to make the shell before they can start feeding and get other energy. There are multiple reasons why this research is, is important. Um, first, we're actually doing some really basic fundamental research on responses of these organisms. And so we've actually discovered a new pathway by which these organisms, these larvae, are actually sensitive to ocean acidification. Beyond that, the work has uh, implications for how oyster hatcheries operate and understanding what sorts of treatment and mitigation strategies they can use. And for somewhere like the Pacific Northwest, the oyster industry is a very important economic driver in these coastal communities. We actually take the students through the oyster hatchery and they get to talk to the hatchery personnel and we show them that production cycle. That evening when we camp out at Cape Lookout State Park, we actually do an oyster roast on the beach and we continue our discussion about oyster biology and ecology. And it's a lot of fun for everyone.